Hey y'all, I know it's been a while since I've been here and communicating with you guys and giving you information that can help with mental health and wellness because I truly believe that mental health is well. And so I do have to fill my own cup before I start trying to fill others. That's the only way I can give you guys the best information and the best of myself. So today and really over the last few months, years, um, especially since moving to New York, I have been thinking about doing multiple things besides music. And I noticed that that feeling always came with a sense of guilt. And I had somehow convinced myself that if I take on any other work, that means that I am less serious in the area of work that I'm passionate about, which is music. And I wanted to make a video about this because first of all, it's just so not true. It's so, so not true that being involved um, or being paid for your other talents somehow makes you less serious about your passion. I mean, even saying that out loud, like <laughs> it's it sounds it sounds insane, but you know, our minds are very crafty and we can come up with excuses for literally everything. So that was the story I was telling myself. And you know, it never stopped me from exploring my other talents, but I've always wanted to get rid of that guilt. So today I decided to do some research on what the main benefits of being a multi-hyphenated or multi-hyphenate person is. And before we even get into the benefits and the definitions and all that good stuff, please subscribe to this channel and like this video so that you can let the YouTube algorithm know that you like this video and so it can be shown to more people that are just like you. So let's get on with it. Being a multi-hyphenate or someone with multiple talents and pursuits um, offers actually a lot more benefits than I even thought of. I just thought it was financial, but it turns out that there are so many valuable and fulfilling uh, benefits of having a multi-hyphenate lifestyle. There are about 12 that I'm gonna mention today but I thought it was only financial. There are so many more that you'll probably resonate with. I know I resonated with and didn't know about. So let's get into it. The first benefit of being someone with multiple talents and pursuits and someone who offers various benefits is versatility. You know, having multiple skills and interests uh, give you the opportunity to adapt to different situations and um, different opportunities more easily. Change isn't difficult for you when you are versatile like that, you know, this point blank period. Another benefit, the second benefit is increased creativity. Um, exploring various fields can stimulate your creativity and encourage you to think outside the box, you know. When you are comfortable with all of your talents, you are rarely ever in lack. And I think that's so important because if you only see yourself as somebody that can do one thing, if you only see yourself as a one trick pony, you know, you can feel crushed at times or you can feel back into a corner at times. So it's important to explore all of your creativity. Third benefit is expanded career opportunities. You know, being multi-talented opens up more career opportunities. Like I said earlier in the video, I knew that the number one benefit for being a multi-hyphenated person and living a multi-hyphenate lifestyle is financial. And it's very true. You have a lot more options um, in terms of career paths and possibilities and stories. You know, one thing that really kind of strengthen the guilt of wanting to be a multi-hyphenate is thinking that it would change my entire story when it just adds to it. It's just a, it's just another opportunity for you to turn the page and be excited about this next era of yourself you're in. The fourth benefit is flexibility. You know, you can choose to work on different projects simultaneously or you can choose to work on one at a time at different times of the year. Uh, you have a lot more flexibility uh, in managing your time and schedule. Um, that is assuming that you don't overwhelm yourself with all the talents and the beautiful gifts you have to offer. 
The fifth benefit is personal growth. Um, embracing diverse pursuits can lead to continuous personal growth and self-discovery. You know, you will be tested in different ways with each task you take on. If you're doing the same thing year after year, day after day, you're no longer finding out new things about yourself. And you're no longer growing. You're no longer developing new, new cells. The sixth benefit is resilience. You know, having multiple skills gives you the safety net in case one avenue doesn't work out. And that is huge because I don't know if you can relate, but anything I'm putting all my eggs into one basket on, worrying about whether it will work out or not can definitely build against my resilient spirit. And then that kind of negative energy, I hate to call it negative energy, but it is, you know, that pressure is negative energy. That kind of negative energy can kind of put you in a cycle of just being afraid that that one avenue won't work out. And so you're attracting situations that make it look like that avenue is not working out when it's really just an opportunity for you to jump into something else that you really love and that you're really passionate about. The seventh benefit is networking. You know, engaging in different areas allows you to connect with a broader network of people. And I hate when people say your network is your net worth because that just makes people force people into each other's lives. And then we're not being authentic because we're just networking for, you know, personal gain as opposed to really connecting. But I will say, if you allow yourself to explore all of the fields you're interested in, you will have a very rich network naturally. The eighth benefit is fulfillment. I will definitely say that pursuing all of your, your passions can definitely lead to a sense of fulfillment and purpose in your life. Because if you think about it, when you were a kid, you had so many, I don't know if you were anything, if you're anything like me and a lot of the kids that I know and talk to, you have so many different dreams and so many different passions and so many different things that you told yourself was possible for you. For me, just transparently speaking, I wanted to be a lawyer at some point. I also wanted to be a teacher at some point. I wanted to be a model. I wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be a producer. I wanted to be an actor. I'm on what well, I'm on six now, six different things that I was super passionate about. I wanted to be a stay at home mom. I, there's, I dreamt of so many different exciting things when I was a kid because none of the other kids were sitting there telling me, oh, you can't do that. It really wasn't until I got to college that other peers started telling me what I can and can't do, which I think is very interesting. But in elementary school, everybody's excited about everything. And so if you can get back to that excitement and allow yourself to pursue everything that excites you, you will definitely feel fulfilled, way more fulfilled than if you're just kind of beating the drum of one path. The ninth benefit is resourcefulness. Being multi-hyphenated encourages you to be resourceful and, you know, outsource and be collaborative. Those are all the skills that you gain when you're doing multiple things because you have to. You have to collaborate when you're doing multiple things. You have to co-create when you're doing multiple things. Otherwise, you'll spread yourself very, very thin. And I know a, uh, I know a little bit about that. <laughs> the tenth benefit is cross-pollination of ideas. Similar to the ninth benefit, um, cross-pollination of ideas is is co-creation you know you're more willing to to hear other ideas to not spread yourself too thin and to also grow as a person you know you're going to need all of the co-creation that you can get if you want to live a multi-hyphenate lifestyle um so your mind is more open to cross-pollination of ideas insights from one area of expertise can inspire and enrich another leading to innovative ideas and approaches. The 11th benefit of being a multi-hyphenate is continuous learning. Juggling different disciplines requires ongoing learning, which can be very stimulating intellectually and rewarding. I feel like all of the benefits so far fall into the continuous learning benefit because when you're gathering ideas from more sources than just your own, you're learning. When you are, um, networking, you're learning. When you are experiencing personal growth, you're learning. You know, all of these things 
everything in life is a learning journey. It's just a learning journey. And the final benefit of being a multi-hyphenate is <clears throat> adaptability. You know, you tend to be more adaptable to change. And that is very similar to just networking and resourcefulness. And, you know, all those things fall into the category of change. If you are embracing all of your talents, you're okay with putting down one project for another. It's, it's really a lot more beautiful than some may think. I'm not really sure where I picked up that story that you're not allowed to do multiple things, especially if you're in entertainment. But I just wanted to make this video to let people know how false that is and let people know that if we're gonna be childlike and we're going to be true to ourselves and authentic, and when I say childlike, I don't mean immature. I mean, you're authentic. You're not operating based on all of these rules and, and you know, the guidebook that you were given, whether you asked for that guidebook or not. If we're going to be authentic, then that means embracing all of ourselves. And if we're going to embrace all of ourselves, why not do that with our work as well? You know, and to close out this, this video, I want to just highlight a few inspiration, like inspirational figures for me who I know are doing multiple things. And I also want to point out for my ladies listening, a lot of the people that you see on a regular basis, the household names that embrace being a multi-hyphenate are men. You don't really list a lot of women as multi-hyphenate artists, but the reality of where we are in the world is everybody has to do at least something else. So anyway, I gathered a list of multi-hyphenated female artists that I look up to that really embrace all of who they are. The number one is Beyonce. We all know she does everything. Um, I think she still doesn't have a manager, which is just amazing because I'm like, you know, in a world where every other artist who is not Beyonce is told that they need a manager. I just think it's so interesting that she doesn't have a manager. That's just incredible to me. Uh, well, as far as I know, I don't know if she finally got one after, after COVID or after the kids. I don't know. The next is Zendaya. I really feel inspired by Zendaya because she seems to be very grounded in who she is. I've seen a few of her interviews. You know, she's an actress, singer, model, producer, dancer. Um, she's really done it all. And she had one interview with Issa Rae where she said that her next venture is not even gonna be in the arts. And that really gave me such a freeing feeling because you don't hear artists actively talk about in interviews what they're going to do that, have, that has nothing to do with their art, you know? A lot of artists are very pressured to stay boxed. And so I love that she just won't allow anybody to box her in. That is just incredible to me. Reese Witherspoon is another one, actress, producer, entrepreneur, activist. Priyanka uh, is another one, actress, singer, producer, philanthropist. Um, and some men include Jamie Foxx. I know Jamie Foxx does everything because I've been watching him since I was a kid. Um, Childish Gambino does pretty much everything. Rihanna does pretty much everything. And Rihanna is especially um, exciting to me when I look at inspiration for living a multi-hyphenated lifestyle because she has really mastered putting down one thing for the next. And I know she doesn't say that in interviews, but it I'm looking at the fruit. She's very comfortable with people hounding her for years <laughs> about not making music or not doing what they want her to do. She's like, it just, I feel like she just has this air of, well, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Yeah, no, I get it, but I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And that is just, that is just chef's kiss. So anyway, I hope this video helped you. Uh, just know that you're not alone. This is an idea that I'm working through as well. Um, and I promise you, you are not a one trick pony. I know that you have, if you just think back to what you dreamt of doing before there were any rules and before there were any guidelines and there were any restrictions, you will find at least one other thing that you could be doing that you are really passionate about. And I carry that same message onto myself. So, breathe and forgive yourself 
for limiting yourself. And I'll talk to you soon. If you like the song that's in the background, it is called I'm Okay from my latest project, Black Current, which is available on all streaming platforms. I love you. Have a great week. I'm okay where I'm at.